In this video, we are going to introduce you to basic biological safety procedures related to handling biological spills and biological waste disposal. First, let's define some terms. A biohazardous agent refers to a substance that is biological in nature and has the potential to produce deleterious effects in biological organisms. Biological waste is any material that contains or has been contaminated by a biohazardous agent. Biohazardous agents that you may encounter in your research include bacteria, fungi, viruses, toxins, allergens, human and animal cells or tissues, clinical specimens, and recombinant products, such as recombinant DNA. Biological waste includes, but is not limited to, petri dishes and culture plates, blood, vials, contaminated personal protective equipment, and used pipette tips. Now, let's discuss what you would do to clean up a small biological spill. First, gather the necessary equipment, safety glasses, gloves, a lab coat, disinfectant, a flask or beaker, absorbent paper towels, and a biohazard bag. If using bleach for your disinfectant, prepare a 10% bleach solution in a flask or beaker. This solution is one part bleach to nine parts water. Pour the bleach solution over the spill and cover it with paper towels. Allow 20 minutes of contact time and then place all the spill cleanup materials and gloves into the biohazard bag for disposal. If the biological spill is large or you are not comfortable cleaning it up, you or your supervisor should contact EHS to assist you. If there is an injury or exposure in the lab due to a spill, keep others out of the area and immediately contact EHS for biological spill response. Blood is considered a biohazardous agent since it may carry viruses such as HIV or hepatitis B. EHS should be contacted for all biological spills, exposures, or other lab incidents involving biological materials and they should be contacted even if you have already cleaned up the spill yourself. If any incident involving a biological exposure or spill occurs, notify your instructor or TA immediately so that they can notify EHS. Any lab that works with biohazardous agents will have designated biological waste disposal containers provided by EHS. There will typically be at least one main biohazard waste collection point, which is often a large biohazard waste bag in a cardboard box, labeled with the biohazard symbol. The lab may also contain one or more Sharps disposal containers. Satellites, or small biohazard waste collection points, may be present at locations of use throughout the lab, for example, near instruments or lab benches. If broken glass or sharps become contaminated with a biohazardous agent, they should be disposed of in a sharps container. Never throw contaminated glass into the regular glass waste. It is important to note that sharps containers may not be filled more than three quarters full. When filled to this level, Seal the sharps container by folding down the plastic tabs and inserting them into the holes. And download the form for EHS to pick up. Biohazard waste must be autoclaved before discarding as regular trash. Autoclaving is a method of sterilization that uses high heat and pressure to kill most microorganisms. The autoclaving time depends on the amount and type of waste and at a minimum must be 30 minutes. If the lab generating the waste chooses to autoclave their own waste, 
then they must affix an autoclave treatment label on the bag once the bag is autoclaved. They must also document waste treatment in the designated autoclave data log. Autoclave treatment labels are available from EHS. The autoclave biohazard bag must be tied and placed in the regular trash for custodial services to pick up. The lab generating the waste is not required to treat biohazardous waste. Instead, the lab may opt for EHS to pick up and treat this type of waste. This is the case for many labs. Biohazard waste bags must be securely closed by tying or taping shut and then placed into a biohazard box. Fax or mail the request for disposal form to EHS to initiate a pickup and request more biohazard waste containers. Note that the biohazard material cannot weigh more than 40 pounds. The form for sharps and biohazard waste can be downloaded from the EHS website. You can call EHS at 512-471-3511 for supplies or if you have further questions.